Okay, in our last example, we're going to take the previous hypothesis test that we did, but instead of doing it using the critical value method, we're going to use the p-value method. All right, so all of this is not going to change. Everything that we had set up for our example last time will remain the same. However, um, we would not have done this step with the critical value. Instead, we will just take our test statistic, which was 1.040, and look up its p-value. Now let's realize this was a two-tailed test and so we want the area to the right of 1.040 when looking at our p-value and then we have to double it because it's a two-tailed test. So first let's go ahead and look up 1.040 with 15 degrees of freedom as we had in our example and we'll go to our stat trick to do that. Okay, here we are. All right, so I'm going to change this into 1.040. And of course, I want to erase the probability because that's what we want. All right, and we'll hit calculate. And it tells us 0.8426. Now that's the area to the left of 1.040. Since we're talking about a two tailed test, and our critical region is to the right, we want to find the area to the right. So we need to subtract 0.8426 from 1. And then, of course, we need to double that because it's a two-tailed test. So our p-value is going to be 2 times 1 minus 0.8426. Or two times, and let me perform that subtraction. So that is 0.1574. And then if we do our multiplication, that is a very huge p value. And we know p values have to be small. And certainly this p value is not smaller than 0 0.01. All right. So we are left with exactly the same results we got the previous time. We failed to reject the null. There is not enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. It appears that the different design packages do not provide different sales amounts.